Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how to make your iPod crack resistant. Crack, shatter, scratches, and anything else like that. I'm going to start off by with start off by telling you what cases are okay to use for your iPod, iPhone, or your iPad. One second. Okay, sorry. Um one of these aren't okay. This is just pure plastic and it's a one piece. It don't come off on the front. So your screen would be totally flat instead of having a little rim around the edges. So cuz a little rim your screen would be right here and then your rim would be like right here. So when you crack it your screen So if you drop it, not crack it, the screen is not touching the ground or touching the wherever you dropped it at. So it'll be a rise above here. Instead, this is pure flat and if you do drop it, your iPod I I'm just going to say any i Apple software, it could possibly fall out of the case. I know a lot of iPads have cases that close and the iPad's going to be inside, but all of those are okay. And the iPhones, yeah, you don't want one like this. Unless you're just going to be like using it around your house, in your room or something, just because these are just for pretty. And all mine says is just like that. Some of these are okay, that are two pieces. One second. Let me get this connected real quick. Okay, so these ones are okay. Where you could see they actually might, they have a rim around here. You could see that, that little rim. Some of these are okay, but they're not super resistant of cracking. Um, I actually dropped my iPod before with my new one because I got my new place in the Apple store. But it's better to have warranty on it so it won't cost as much. I actually cracked the case, so I had to get a new one. But my iPod was safe. So your cases can get damaged. The silicone ones aren't can't get damaged that bad. They may rip from friction and stuff like that. And here's actually the new case I'm gonna put on it. But right now, I'll tell you about that later. So this is the case I was gonna I'm gonna put on it. At this one, it's really thick, so I'm sure not to drop it. As you could see, it has little dots, and then it has this cute thing, which is kind of cool. As you could, one second, it actually stands. So, see that. And some of these might be cool if you like wanna stand it and use it as a little stand for your iPod. But I probably might not use it. My dad helped me get this because. He has one, and he's actually the one who bought me my iPod. So, yeah. And it has three holes on the top. You could actually find these online. Just look for um, protection cases. I don't know what brand this is by, but um, another great brand is Otter. But if you're looking forward to spending quite some money on it, um, then the otter case is good for you and the otter cases do work super cool I don't know super easily my friend has one but she took her iPhone out and the iPhones are glass so it's kind of crazy and you guys might wonder how do you put it in they have a thick rim as you can see it goes over to where the button is this is actually silicone the top 
and it comes off just like that. And then right here, it looks like, it looks just funny. And that just pops in half like that so I could stick your iPod in there. So there is two, two layers of this. So it could, it is sure to protect your iPod or Apple software. I kind of don't really like saying the word Apple software because it could also be a Mac computer or laptop or whatever. Whatever. Now I'm going to show you my iPod. So I put it in here because I'm not supposed to touch it for a week, which it is Monday right now, I think. I'm very bad at my days during the summer. But it's Monday right now and I can't touch it till Friday because that's when I got it. So I have five more, four more days to go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, I also want to watch Monsters University. And this is how it looks, basically. This is 20% um, thinner than an actual screen protector. It is very shiny and it is put on professionally. And it is put on by Ghost Armor. You can't actually let it touch anything. Your fingers could go on it, like you could slide around on it. But it can't touch like anything hard wood, your pants, or clothes, cloth. But this is actually very soft and they'll give you this when you get it. So that's why I put it in here so I could kind of forget about it and be like hands off and stuff. So it will be big. But it is pink because pink is my favorite color. I can't put this on because it still is in the healing process. And it is actually very shiny. It's scratch resistant. Shatter resistant and everything above. But unless you like literally slam it to the ground like real hard on purpose and junk like that, it could actually shatter. But if you like accidentally drop it, it won't shatter. Then that, um, Ghost Armor is very, very expensive. It's Twenty like thirty two dollars I think to get it on the ghost armor, but it is worth it. It very is, very 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 is. So I hope you guys. I hope this actually helps some of you guys. So it's no kind of definitely. And of course, Ghost Armor is optional. You could also just go go out and get a phone uh, screen protector. Some may say scratch resistant, but the um, Ghost Armor is way resistant than any other screen protector. I think. I think there's other um, screen protectors that come with it. But yeah, I kind of hope you guys like this. Well, not kind of. I really hope you guys like this. I really hope you guys think this was very great advice for you. If you want to see more, just please give this a video a thumbs up, rate, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I upload a lot of videos kind of every day. I try to keep it every day, but yeah. I'm also a new YouTuber, and please comment down below what you want my next video to be so it'd be more helpful. Thank you. Bye.